Hello and welcome to a new week on iRacing. We are at Dover in the ARCA car. I just got done doing a Gen 4 race at New Hampshire, had a fun time, had a great race, and the microphone didn't work. So that was great. <laughs> so um, that's very unfortunate, but at least I know that it wasn't working now, and we can get this race properly recorded. So... A lot of what I was saying in the uh, Gen 4 race is I haven't been doing a lot of officials lately because league races have just been too much fun and they make the official racing look bad by comparison. <laughs> but uh, actually the New Hampshire race was so much better than expected and so my mood right now is that maybe I'm giving officials a bad rap. And hopefully uh, this will be a good one as well. It is the first... wait... yeah, first race of the week. In Arca. Here comes your first time black. Got uh, First race of the week here in Arca. I did not hit that quite right, <laughs> but oh well. Sorry, it takes a lot of concentration to hit this line right the way I want to. I'm about a tenth off from what I would like, unfortunately. I think the second lap can be better. Let's see if we can get as much as we can out of it. I entered practice thinking, I don't feel so good about this. And I love practice feeling a little bit better, which is what you would hope would happen any time. Second lap is a hundredth better. So I felt a lot better after I did some practice. I could have done much better with my qualifying there, unfortunately. I could have been 10th faster. But that's okay. Uh, I kind of have a, a game plan for how I'm going to do long runs. I'll share that, of course, as I'm doing it. But it involves just kind of doing a quick kind of stab of the brake on entry down low using my brake bias as much as I can to try to get turn into the vehicle. And then being aggressive, middle and exit, maybe not so much middle, mostly exit, to try to get the car driving on the right rear. And uh, after I did a long run during practice, which I don't normally do, but I had 87, 87 on the right side, so they were even. So that's great. I doubt I'll be able to pull that off during the actual race, just because there's going to be people all around us. But it seems like my uh, my approach was working all right, and I could feel pretty good about that. But this is going to be really tough. Not my greatest combo. Uh, 4.9k strength of field. So just an absurdly strong, like the first race of the week always is. I mean, 9.2k Logan Clampett up here. Just, he wins every race he enters. Pretty much the first, like, 10 people. No, first, like, 5 people, like, usually win every race they enter. <laughs> but, uh, not all of them can win this time. Uh, in fact, so the, uh, 6 I just did an ARCA race, the last race of the week at Chicagoland. I just did another one get my feet under me in the Arca car. I had a great race with him for the win. Uh, he ended up beating me for it, but I got P2 finished right behind him. We had a great battle, and he's back for this one. So good luck to him. That was a good race. Oh, man, I've fallen back to 12th. And uh, I just I hope we can survive. Look how close these times are. Look at that. That's absurd. 3-12. 3-12. 3.13. 3.13. Like, four cars within one thousandth of each other, pretty much. That's a, that's just crazy. That's how competitive these first race of the week ARCA races are. I mean, 4.9k, you got guys with 9,000 I rating, 8,000. You got the three car with 7,000. Like, just crazy. Just absurd. <laughs> Look outside. 408, 408, 408. <laughs> I always Jake, wish uh, Jacob good luck. Well, 
I wonder if he noticed that he's in like a three-way tie. <laughs> That's so funny. That's the end of the session. P12. <laughs> Good win, Clampet. We'll see. Um, there's probably going to be lap traffic in this race. Because I imagine somebody's going to wreck at some point. And uh, it can be a little tough. But I don't know. It could be tough to avoid a wreck if there is one. <laughs> I'm just laughing at all these these uh, cute times being so certainly close to one another. But we're going to move the brake bikes back in the car as well. Like I said, trying to get as much turn on entry with the brakes as I can. Last lap. So if I had hit my all-time best, 248, I would have been P2. So that would have been cool, but track conditions are probably uh, say, uh, different from the practice session. So that might not have been realistic. But I can pretend that I was going to qualify ahead of some really fast guys. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I hope I don't get hit from behind. I do want to kind of be easier. Oh my Jesus, I just realized the guy behind me has a B1.5 uh, safety rating. That makes me nervous. I don't really know the guy, but that is a little bit scary. Man, of all the guys that could start behind me. It has to be someone that's going to make me nervous. Prove me wrong. He could prove me wrong. And I hope he does. But it does scare me a little bit. Admittedly. But lots of a 4.9s all around as well. A lot of guys get a bad rap in safety really just because they run a lot of short track racing and sometimes stuff happens whether you can help it or not in those series, so... Not gonna hold it against them too much or anything. I'm gonna worry about myself. So I gotta not wreck too. Is it one, one degree or two degree in here? At Dover. One degree. So we actually kinda gotta get lined up pretty quick. It's interesting. Pace hey, speed's really slow though, so I guess we'll be fine. Ooh, ooh, okay, gotta be careful. It looks like we got some higher spin potential on launch. I think it's first gear, though. Look how low our RPMs are in first gear, so... We have to watch out around us, too. Definitely could get some guys getting it uh, spun up. Caleb, your bumper is nice and shiny. Go green. Stay focused. It's like I need to touch up. Okay, okay, car is on. Ready. Please go. Please go. Are you serious? Why am I always stuck behind the guy that doesn't go? What's the guy I just had a great race with? Why are you in fourth gear, my man? Put the button inside. Down here. Whoa! That was close to contact. Uh-oh. Oh my god! Oh my god, that was the whole field. How did I make it through that? Jake, hold on, you can get an what the fuck was that? Very unfortunate, looks like. I'm, um, I'm killed. My wheel's upside down. My car's jumping up and down. Close my eyes and prayed. I don't know how I made it through that. How many cars was that? The whole field. That was absurd. I'm going high right here. Wow. That's one of the biggest wrecks I've seen in Ark in a long time, I think. 
We had a pretty decent one at a mile and a half not too long ago, I think. But I'm not much of a religious person, but there was some divine intervention in that one, I think. <laughs> For me to make it through that. That was kind of absurd. Cars finding out where they want to be on track. Hopefully my uh, long run plan works out here. Lost a lot of time having to avoid that, but good lord, that was crazy. I'm lucky I didn't get smacked from behind because I did hit the brakes pretty good. I think it was just enough that allowed me to get around everybody that was sliding. Speaking of getting around, maybe we can get around Jordan here. Set something up. I don't really want to do too much setting up and use up all my tire trying to do it, necessarily. I think I saw Jacob behind us. I think he might have made it, too. It's hard to tell, though, because there's just a bunch of lap cars from that wreck behind us right now. sucks. There's a lot of good guys taken out in that one. I know Lewandowski's back there, JP. Six car who started in fourth gear, but we had a great race with earlier. Those are all guys that were around us, too. That's how lucky I was to survive that. think about when I should maybe consider setting up a pass. I don't feel like I'm being held up too much. I'm just following behind. Okay, don't follow behind that guy though. That was a pretty hard hit as well. Now we gotta get past him. Did not want to use my tires up. Probably gonna have to. Clear high. Don't do it. Please. There I go hitting the wall. Thankfully it didn't slow me down much. Get my bearings. Go side by side a little bit there. Get me off a little bit. Back to it. Are you going or not? That was a 24.3. I just said no. P8 right now. Some luck involved, obviously. But P8 nonetheless. I just feel okay. So far it seems like my approach is working out. We got a good 45 laps, so. Still more time for that to develop. A little loose on exit, but just because of the amount of wheel I've put into it, so maybe that's a sign that I need to back it down just a bit. Oh man, I'm hit the apron. Just destroyed my corner. You cannot do that here at Dover. Don't you get the angle wrong? That's several tenths I just lost doing that.
I think we're faster than Jordan, but we gotta make a pass. That's gonna be tough here. You lose a ton of time being side by side at Dover as well. We're really gonna have to be smart about how we approach this. I'm gonna be side by side. I really think that I can pass. I wanna get it done quickly. So as to minimize how much I lose. Maybe I can use this lap car somehow. Give him a bad exit, maybe? Really? Look at me a bad exit, maybe? Yes, really. Dang it. Alright, how do we do this? I think it has to be high line. Let's set something up. I don't know, man. I think we just have to kind of go for it. We're going to have to go to the inside, even though I don't think it's going to work very well. Hines caught us. Inside. Not there. Sorry, Colton. You good? Not there. Fine. I didn't hear a call. Those part of our tires. I'll wait until we catch back up to Jordan here. Okay. At least he's nice about it. They're still okay. I don't think they did too much harm. Or there no not too much harm was done to them is what I'm trying to say. Get back to Jordan. See if we can try to get around. Better exit than in there. I just don't know how we're going to be able to get around him. I'm going to try to the inside once I get enough of a run to get the call on him. Look at those, Sam. I don't know what to do, man. Got a good run there, but it's not enough. No idea how to pass. You do it then. Show me how to do it because I don't know how to do it. That time he did at least get the nose on me. I just can't figure out how to pass. Oh, well, that's that the story. I just can't figure out how to pass. I'm useless trying to overtake. 
side. Clear up top. Sorry. The gap behind is now 10 seconds. Good job, dude. Can I get a run? Can I get a run? Gonna give it to me? Yes! Okay. Thank goodness. I just I don't know if he was just giving it to me to be nice. Probably not because he's pressing me over. Still there at the bottom. Still there inside. Still there. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. I think he was pretty nice to me, or something, on that entry, thinking I was going to dive it in. I looked down there like I was going to. wasn't going to actually do it. I'll pull you right in, Kyle. So, uh, we got about, what, 12 to go coming up here. Car's tight, but drivable. I think pushing it a little harder, trying to figure out how to pass, made the car tighter. This is one of those hand hurting races. You gotta grip that wheel. They don't have to. <laughs> I do. No one really falling off crazy hard, it doesn't seem like. At least no one in front of us. They did get a bit of an advantage though. Not having a gigantic wreck. Ten to go, this time by. right in front of them. Sorry, I'm like trailing off halfway through sentences. This takes a lot of focus. At least for me, this is a bit of a tough one. Car's getting tight. Turns in the wall back there. guy that I was worried about must have been caught in that wreck. It's probably just fine. He ended up getting wrecked by something outside of his control. So I had no reason to worry about him. Looking like P8 right now. If we uh, hold it on for the hold on to it for the next seven laps really falling off hard in front of us. Don't think anyone's catching us. Jordan's falling off from us. Take it out. Behind is now 0.9. That last lap was at 25.3. Uh, 25.3. Oh, we survived the major mega wreck. Definitely going to have to look at that, because that was pretty much the entire field behind us got caught in that. Nineteen, bro. What are you doing? Five. Five to go. Lap times are pretty consistent. One winning, as you might expect. Very 
He's only half a second behind him, though. That's pretty good. Oh my god, why am I driving into the wall on the straightaway? It's because I'm thinking about other things. Uh, usually, Flambit wins by several seconds, no matter who's in the field. So. I mean, right behind him. It's a pretty great showing. Of course, we're comparing Elite to Elite right now. 9,000 I rating to 8,000 I rating, so there's that. Only one in the wall in front of us, twice. Might not have to uh, worry about him before the end of this race, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it if he's having handling issues. I am really interested to see what my tires say. They feel really tight, Two left to go. Two but to go. I feel like I'm getting a decent bit of turn on That's it, despite how tight it is. Two laps remaining. That was a lot of turn right there. That got loose, actually. White flag. One more White flag. We will just take it easy. No reason to pass the 21, even if we do get there. White flag. One more to go. Well, this will be a great finish in a very strong field, but... Kinda got lucky, I think. I mean, I dodged the wreck, but there's only so much I can do. Eighth place. Okay, that's Ooh. the finish. All right. Well done, mate. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Good job. Very good job. Well, pull it over. Good win, man. Okay, Colton, what were you telling me earlier in the race? I had Discord and my roommate's playing the drums right now, so I couldn't hear what you were saying. Oh, no worries. I was just saying, uh, I was not figuring out how to pass, so I was letting you go, and no worries about the contact. I know I kind of cut it close um, on uh, the entry there, so that's probably partly on me, too. Good race, though, man. Good race. Yeah, sorry about getting your bumper like that. That was not my intention. I just overcooked it. No, Thomas, it hit me crazy sideways and bounced. Like, like the neck could have bounced me all the way across the track. and It was just in a four-wheel slide, and I couldn't control it. Uh, 46.53, yeah, my, my tires were pretty bad too, 38.60, we'll share what we had, what was it, 46.53, 46.53, kind of late, I think a lot of people already got to it, wow, he had much better tires, the 12 did, 63.68, that's crazy how much different tires were for a lot of guys, Lots of burnt off right fronts, including even the number one who won the race. I don't know how he does that. Gets 38.60 and still wins. I'm not sure how you do that, but he sure did it. Larry's tires were. It's just like, is this just a race where you don't. Uh, <laughs> Where you don't save tires? I don't know. I'm just curious. 40.52. Yeah. Cooking them at the end. Yeah, my tires were better than Larry's. I guess, uh, you know, there's... Hmm. I really don't know what I would learn from this. Because my tires were better than a lot of guys. But my results were not. I mean, we did have to hold up for that big wreck, which we're going to watch now. I know it's... I'm eagerly awaiting this to see what that looked like. Oh, yeah, and then we were six car lengths back off the start for some reason. That was not my favorite. Why did, I swear this always happens to me. I'm always behind the guy that's six car lengths back. 
Guess something happened here too, though. Seventeen's way back. Not getting much of a start. Weird. Maybe some guys just assumed it was the second gear start. So some guys were really uh, struggling to get it going. But that that. I mean, I guess it was. It could have been worse. We were side by side with Jacob to start, but by the time you know we're two rows back, by the time we get to turn one, which is not great, but. Oh well. So lap one. Twenty coming down the track. Whole long way. Probably just not really looking to where the, the ten was. Oh wow, that was weird. Was that a net code thing? Cause look how hard he comes off of the eighteen. That didn't look natural. That's weird. That didn't look normal. Like, I feel like for the car to dart that hard to the left, you would have to, like, yank the wheel really hard. It looks almost like... You see the 18 gets loose a little bit. You see that little bobble, like, almost, like, flicks his right front in just the wrong way. Maybe that's just what I'm seeing, but maybe I'm just defending JP's honor here. <laughs> but that didn't look normal. I don't know. And then he tries to catch it. And, uh... Lewandowski was there. So Lewandowski's on the inside of the 17. And, uh, they just were three wide and then it catches all of them. Oh my lord. Oh no. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. That wreck was insane. Okay. We're gonna have to get an aer aerial view of this one. We're getting the blimp. Bring out the Goodyear blimp. Oh my lord. That 23 took a quite the ride. We have to go back even a, a couple more spots, I think. See it kind of developing down there at the bottom. Come up the track. Just the whole rest of the field, pretty much. And then we will see from back here. Oh man, I just barely sneak through. You can see I almost get hit by the six. And I almost decided to go low like that and follow him. Because I see JP going up like that and I'm thinking they're going to run into each other. Maybe they're going to be slow on the high line, so I'm going to have to take a lower line. But because they end up turning down and I'm seeing that all of a sudden... I have to make a decision and be like, all right, I have to go to the right. They're going to slide down. That's how this track works. So then I just got to like hit the brakes, not fly into it at a thousand miles an hour. But then I have to gas it up because I know there's a really good chance these guys bounce off that wall and come back up. So I'm gunning it. I have to slow down for the corner a little bit. But look how close. Just barely get by it. Oh, yeah. I was the last person to get through cleanly, I think. Jacob kind of made it through. He got pinned against the wall, though. Oh, man, that was actually a really hard hit. He was able to keep going, though, and that's all he needed to finish on the lead lap and finish a top 10. Top 10. Only 10 cars on the lead lap. Unbelievable. He almost made it through cleanly, too. Oh, what a hard hit there. But I don't think anybody else made it through. A 
14 gets a big chunk of it. The 6 we know was in it. 19 gets a chunk of it. He might have gotten a little lucky there, a little netcode action. But I think there's one guy that just barely almost makes it through. Yeah, the 16. But Lewandowski's out of control coming down the track. That huge banking, that's what's going to happen. Ugh, that sucks. The 16 almost made it through. And that's almost a guaranteed top 10 if he does. Much of a difference. He decides to stay on track. They need to full sand in. Send it like the three did. What did the three do? I just got lucky, <laughs> pretty, pretty much. I mean, we'll go ahead and review what I saw here, but just crazy how they start going down. And you see when I kind of decide I need to go to the right. I can't go up all the way, though, because there's someone on my outside. <laughs> What's this viewport look like? Oh my god. That is probably the thumbnail right there. Just complete carnage. <laughs> that 23 just right in the top of that guy. How did he even get up there? He's, he just gets pummeled by the 20. <laughs> that was not necessary. I didn't see that part. And <laughs> just she goes on her on her own merry way. A little bit of Arca break right there, and then the 23 <laughs> just gets picked up and placed into the wreck, essentially. That's kind of funny, but also not very funny for the Things she was here. There was a self cleaning racetrack. Everyone just slides off the banking. That's kind of what happened there. So we'll see what else happened. Probably some wall hits. Probably got some good chunky ones in here. get through some of these some of the wall hits got drivers out there with broken cars too just trying to make it the rest of the laps probably not too uh 
easy to deal with with the handling and all. Awesome job to Jacob to get that top 10. Highest car number in the field and getting a top 10 in what's essentially a 5,000 strength of field race. That's an excellent job. Regardless of Rex. It's not about how you get there, it's what you get, I guess. Which sounds like the opposite of what normally people say. You know, it's about the journey, not the destination. Not really. <laughs> Just uh, saying good luck to Jacob. He's always very kind. Enjoy racing with him. Hitting the turn on YouTube if you're interested in seeing his perspective on that one. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I'm the 9 car. I'm just barely supposed to be the top 10 car, but I mean, I didn't feel all too confident heading into this one, so... I will absolutely take a top 10, even if it's aided by uh, <laughs> a crash. But I don't think we really had much else. Not very many cars left to wreck. There's some wall hits and things. A little boop at the end there, and that's it. You're going to see a lot of 4X in here, I bet. Wow. That's probably all that one wreck. Probably maybe a couple in there from different stuff, but the majority of the field, six people with zero X. <laughs> that is that is wild. So thank you for uh, joining me for this one. The Giga Wreck <laughs> happens here at Dover. Absolutely massive destructive force that we somehow survive we'll get one uh, one last view of it I suppose and I'll let you go thanks uh, hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time oh wait <laughs> don't leave I gotta show the results page <laughs> I almost forgot. I didn't forget, though. I didn't forget. Results page. I had such a good exit, too. I had such a good outro. I'm like, well, one last look at the big wreck. Nah, and you got to look at the race results page. I do this because it was requested at one point. Uh, let me take a look at the results page. I think it's good. So, proof it was a basically 5,000 strength of field race right there. Larry gets the fastest lap. He finishes within half a second of the win. And uh, you can see right here, basically the cutoff from who was in the wreck and who wasn't, a good 11 seconds. Jacob sneaks by it um, with a pretty hard hit, but is at least able to keep going. And the 20 um, picks up and places, I think it was the 23, into the wreck, but is able to keep going. We're going to gain 36 I rating that's cool that's my preferred number 201 championship points so basically two solid races for me I usually kind of try to get you know at least a hundred championship points and I feel good about that so two good races worth of championship points in there um, pretty much so I'm happy with that six splits total and that'll do it thanks for watching <laughs>